everybody, this is Roy and welcome to another brand new video on this channel and today I have a mini off-grid solar system on my back and you see this is a 50 watt solar panel from Loom Solar and I have a battery, it's a 12 volt uh, 7.2 ampere hour battery which I removed from our old UPS and uh, this is a charge controller, it's a 12 24 volt 10 amps PWM charge controller from Loom Solar and the price is around uh, 1000 rupees and we have two tube light you see this tube light you can run so this two tube light is of them cost around 300 rupees but you can buy all this kind of tube light from local market around 80 rupees but the quality is not as good as this loom solar uh, tube light so everything everything here as you see guys it cost me less than 5000 rupees so if you guys are living in a remote area where there is no electricity or if you live in a place there is lot of load shedding and you need something to charge your phone, run a tube light or run a tiny fan. You can go for this kind of setup. It's cheap and it's effective and you don't need to rely on grid. If you guys have enough sunlight, you can charge this battery. Uh, this solar panel is more than enough to charge this battery. It took only three hours to charge the battery so you can charge two of this kind of battery using this uh, 50 or solar panel but when there is rain or cloudy the story is completely different it take more time so guys today in this video i'll show you guys how you guys can set up a mini off-grid solar system like this by yourself also later on the video i'll share with you my experience with this setup so guys let's get started for this project i need a solar panel and here i have a 50 watt solar panel from loom solar and i need a battery and this is a old ups and inside this old ups uh, we have a 7.2 ampere hour battery we need a few wires here we have 1.5 mm i think uh, 10 meter wires we need it to connect with the solar panel and the charge controller and here inside this box we have a charge controller and two tube light so first we'll unbox it guys and see what's inside the box. Okay, so let's cut it open. So here is the tube light, one tube light and this is the two tube lights uh, with switch as you see guys we have switches too and here we have the charge controller. So this is a user manual and warranty card from Loom Solar. Here we have term and condition for warranty and tech sheet. Okay, it's support 12 volt and 24 volt. Uh, 12 volt, 24 volt, 10 amps. Okay, loops cold charging, low battery indicator. It's wrapped around a plastic packet. Okay, so this is solar input. This is battery. This is load and this is to connect with a USB port so pretty simple okay so here we have a night sensor I purchased this charge controller this light and the solar panel from this loomsolar.com so if you guys want to buy it you can check their website I will leave a link of their website in the description below uh, the 50 watt panel is around 2400 rupees and uh, let me find out the charge controller and guys this is this charge controller uh, it's uh, loom solar fusion 10 amp 24 volt charge controller 12 to 24 volt it's worth this price is uh, 1050 rupees and if you are a first time buyer you can use welcome coupon code to get 100 rupees discount on this loomsolar.com website now guys let's remove the battery from this broken old ups so here we have four screw you need to open it Now here is the battery. Now we'll check the battery voltage. It's 12.17. It's a good battery. Now we're going to connect the wire, this uh, red and green wire. So I will make this red to positive and green is negative uh, wire to the solar panel. So as you see here we have a junction box. So we'll open it. So this junction box is opened. Now we'll insert this wire and uh, we'll join this wire like this way, okay? So first uh, we'll strip the wire near about an inch. Okay. Now 
now it's better to solder uh, the wire here i'm connecting this wire temporarily so that's the reason i'm not soldering the wire right now but uh, i'll solder the wire later Joining the wire, cover this weather protection cap. Here we have the solar input. See solar positive and negative. So here we will connect the green wire goes like this on here. So here I connected the negative. Here I will connect the positive of the solar. And this solar controller also has a uh, reverse connection protection so if i reverse this wire uh, this a uh, red light will turn on uh, so done now uh, here we need to connect the battery and here i'm connect the load it's a huge mistake from my side to connect the solar panel first with the charge controller we always need to connect the battery with the charge controller first. If we connect the solar panel with the charge controller without connecting the battery, might burn the charge controller. So guys be careful. Do not connect the solar panel directly with your charge controller without connecting the battery. So guys I took everything on my roof and now I'm going to connect the battery with the charge controller. So this will be the battery negative. This battery negative and this will the battery positive. So now we are connecting the battery positive. So this is the battery negative. I need to connect it with the battery and the circuit will complete it. Okay now it's charging as you see. So guys this is not a good way to connect with the battery uh, because I am testing that's the reason. So because of this I am using the DC Jugaru technique and now we will adjust this negative. Negative as I, as I connect it with negative you can see the charging it will start it charging. See it blink now it's showing low battery. Okay, okay, so there is a loose connection here. Now it's charging. Now guys, as you see, uh, this is the solar panel. It's around 4.30 p.m. So sun is setting. Sun is setting. So today there is not much sunlight. So I will try tomorrow. And here is a setup guys. It is still charging. I probably take it on the roof. Uh, here I will get lot of sunlight, so I'll take it on the roof and then I will uh, I will check the amps and voltage and how it works. So now, now the solar panel is getting uh, good sunlight. So guys, the time is right now. 5 p.m. around 5 p.m. The battery is charging very really little bit. So see guys the voltage. The voltage of solar panel is around 20 volt. Okay. But the amp is low because not much sunlight is there. It's 21, 22. Okay. Thank you. So the battery is get tickle charge, not charging. Battery voltage is uh 12.19 volt. I've also connected a light. As you see, guys, the light is turned on. It's pretty bright light. And I also connected a fan. Let's turn it on. Now, everything a fan and a tube light running out of solar panel 12.8. It's now charging 12.9. So, when uh, the sunlight is more, then we'll probably charge the battery. Now if I turn off everything, the battery is charging little bit. Okay, but if I turn on any load, 
the battery is discharging the solar input not able to charge the battery so maybe tomorrow when there is enough sunlight i will to test it uh, the charging light is blinking it's supposed to turn on continuously so i think there is not much uh, energy coming out of the solar panel hey guys good morning and we have a pretty good sunlight today let me show you guys look at the sunlight a little bit cloudy but uh, it's better than yesterday and here is the solar panel and it's getting pretty good sunlight today last night i turned on the tube light it's run for around seven eight hours then it gave me a low battery signal now you see guys the battery is low i also disconnected the solar panel from the charge controller and this is the wire from a solar panel uh, the open circuit voltage of the solar panel is currently 20.7 volt Now guys the solar panel is connected and it's continuously charging so we are getting pretty good sunlight after 10 minutes of charge this low battery indicator automatically turned off now this light is on turning on battery is charging around 1.82 amps now guys time is around 12 30 and the battery is full charged let me show you the battery voltage it's 13.3 volt its battery is full charged and everything this light this is the 5 watt light 5 watt and this is 7 watt everything running on solar including this fan this is a usb 5 watt fan it's a 10 inch big fan so everything running on the solar it's still uh, the solar panel is charging the battery uh, let me show you guys if i uh, remove the battery from here you can see it's a little flickering it's not a good idea but right now it's directly running on solar Guys, let me show you the amps coming out of the solar panel. It's 1.93 amp. So if you calculate it, it's around 25 watt. Now let's check the uh, how much amp is coming to the battery. It's 1.7, 1 1.6 amp. Uh, the battery is charging is around 1.78 amp. If I turn off one light, it will increase the amp. Turn off too light. Now it's 8.3 amp. After a few days use and test, I'm really impressed by this charge controller performance. At this price point, it's a great MPPT charge controller. It's way better than this $3 cheap Chinese charge controller. It's reliable, it's good. Uh, so if you guys are looking for a 50 or to a 200 watt mini upgrade solar system, you can check this charge controller. So guys, thanks for watching the video till the end and if you come this far, you probably need this kind of setup. So I want to tell you, if you are in a really tight budget and you just need low power system like mobile phone, 5 watt tube light and you want to run this kind of 5 to 10 watt energy efficient BLDC fan, you can go for this kind of setup. This upgrade setup is awesome for places where there is no electricity at all. I see a lot of people in Nepal and Himalayas use this kind of setup in their home to charge phone and run lights. Hope you guys like this video and if you guys have any question, any suggestion, let me know in the comment section below. I try to reply every one of your questions. That's being said, my name is Obhijit Rai, I'm signing out and I will meet with you on my next video. Till then, bye bye.